Okay, Congressman, um, you had a meeting with Dutchess County uh, officials today. Yes. And uh, you're, you're bringing home some FEMA money for last year's storms. Yeah. Well, I, I will tell you that um, you know there are categories or there are federal appropriations uh, across the full spectrum that are helping uh, localities recover from the storm. It, you see the, the individual assistance money. We gave you some figures moments ago uh, in terms of that, uh, fairly substantial in terms of what investment uh, the federal government made in helping individual families recover. Uh, you also, uh, we have money that's public assistance from FEMA that helps with roads and bridges. And then beyond that, I, I listed uh, five different areas where we appropriated money uh, to help. Uh, to recover from the storm, and, and that include the emergency conservation program, very important program that's helping our farmers uh, with de debris removal on site, fixing fences, uh, something that can uh, certainly mount up in terms of costs and conservation structures. This is for farmers. This is a 75% cost cover, uh, cost uh, share for farmers, and it's being executed through the Farm Service Agency, the FSAs, the local FSAs. The emergency watershed program, significant discussion about that in the meeting. Uh, this is actually coming through the uh, uh, the uh, NRCS, and this is a, a federal uh, program also through the, the United States Department of Agriculture, and we were able to get uh, money appropriated for that. That helps localities uh, go beyond the, the FEMA money, the public assistance gets you back to the day before the storm. Uh, this emergency watershed program is meant to do the, the necessary work to attenuate the chances of natural disasters harming our communities, our public uh, uh, infrastructure in the future. So th this is an important program. Uh, where, where we can actually go in and help with the debris removal, uh, do the, uh, the, s the strengthening of stream banks so that we don't have pro we lessen the chances of problems in the future. And then we also had a category of economic development that was specifically to make sure we didn't lose some major firms that were here in New York State uh, to the storm, and uh, we're, we're going to be successful on that. And uh, there was specific money for public infrastructure. You, already, you may have been following in the news. There's already been two release, releases of money. Uh, that get us over $100 million just for uh, roads and bridges in New York State. Uh, that's been very helpful. And then finally, the Community Development Block Grant Program. This is a very important program. I like it particularly because of the way it empowers localities. The money comes here to the state with very few strings attached, really one, uh, that has to be spent uh, for a disaster, for, for a county that's declared a disaster area. Now, the state, of course, has, uh, has autonomy uh, to also organize that program. But even then, I think that the state does a good job of uh, instilling the intent of the program, which is to get the money down to the localities with the fewest strings attached. And that helps uh, localities deal with ensuring that their small businesses don't pick up and leave uh, after a storm. Uh, and the good news in Dutchess is uh, small businesses here uh, largely are back up on their feet and, and moving forward after the storm. And so really the, the big work here is, is just ensuring that the uh, project worksheets that have been submitted from Dutchess County, that we continue to track them through the federal bureaucracy so that the money gets down into the localities. Because uh, gone are the days when uh, towns and counties can really you know, pay the front end and wait on reimbursement. It's every, this is a tough time. So it's really tight. And we need to do, expedite as quickly as possible to have the money to come down here uh, to the county and to the towns. The community block grant program, is, is that emergency related too? It sounds yes. more... Uh, yes. Well, this specifically, the money that we appropriated. Now, of course, this is a, uh, the program, broadly speaking, mm -hmm. doesn't have to be um, associated with, uh, with a disaster uh, county, a uh, county uh, declared a disaster area. But uh, we actually included in appropriations late last year in the Congress additional money for community development block grants specifically for recovery from the storm. So that, that's welcome news here in New York State. Uh, we, can, we can get that, uh, that money down to our localities that need it. I have to say that, I mean, this was, uh, I was very uh, honored to be part of this effort. I was, um, I led the, uh, I was part of the uh, coalition leadership, the bipartisan leadership, along with Peter Welch from Vermont. We were the co-chairs of the Hurricanes, Irene and Lee Task Force. And so, you know, we shepherded that, that money through, uh, through the House. Is the level of public assistance from FEMA been increasing over the past recent years? Well, it, it's all dependent on the specific uh, disaster, but I can tell you that uh, FEMA tried to learn uh, whatever lessons that they could from uh, the difficulties that they had in New Orleans, uh, and I can tell you that uh, I, I believe that the agency does its very best to support uh, the people of the United States of America. So, I mean, now look, any large organization, they need help with situation awareness, so that's part of what 
I do and my office does is let them know about areas where we think they're not meeting their own standards. Uh, so we give them that situational awareness. Or in places where we think constituents uh, we don't think got the right answer uh, from some of their initial claims, we help them um, with appealing, uh, appealing cases. So that's part of what we do. Mr. Molinero has uh, been known for working well on different levels of mm -hmm. government, and have you found that to be cases? Absolutely. And uh, I actually enjoy, he's a friend of mine, uh, in addition to being a colleague, and I, I think he has great interpersonal skills. He's, uh, he, he unites people. He brings people together. He's also an effective uh, executive. Uh, and I, I say that knowing him even before he took this job because he has a powerful vision, uh, he is a problem solver, and he's able to, I think, uh, cut through uh, problematic areas and know the essence of a problem and bring a solution. So uh, it's great to work with him in this capacity now as well.